Okay, this is part seven of the developer diary for Temple Jumpfront X, which was all about, which is all about converting a Unity iPhone project into a Unity Android project, and then having that Android project deployed onto some Android app stores. The one that we've got here is the Amazon App Store, which is for Android uh, applications and games. So it, the address, just if you wanted to sign up for this one, is developer.amazon.com. And it's really simple. Um, once you're on the home page, you can then click Add App, and then you'll be you'll be directed to this page here, which basically allows you to fill in all the metadata, which is things like the description, the screenshots. You can even add a video in there as well um, down at this part at the bottom. I've not added a video for this one yet because it's um, I tried to do one before, but the quality isn't very good. Um, so I thought it'd be better just to leave that out. But if you do have a good video, I totally recommend uploading that. Uh, or if anyone does play this and does a video on YouTube, please let me know and I will upload your video onto the site, you know, and obviously I will link to it and things like that. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend putting videos in because that really helps. So this is pretty simple. All you do is add in the, met the metadata in each of the different sections. Um, really, I think one of the things is for, um, uh, like I mentioned before, for independent developers is the ability for... Uh, users to, to find your game that's that's a and part of that is search engine optimization or app store app store engine optimization um, using keywords uh, using as many keywords as you can within the keywords uh, box as well so that a, it, it kind of reaches as many people as possible when they do a search is extremely important especially if you don't have a big marketing budget or a big marketing plan or something like this or, or a publisher that you're working with like Chilingo or something um, so for, for smaller developers, this is really important. So use, use quite a lot of keywords, uh, and I do this here, as you can see there's keywords that are related to games that I think the player might like. So I've sort of typed in retro, uh, invaders, you know, space invaders, uh, Pong, and these are sort of older arcade games, and because Temple Jump Run X is similar to an arcade game in terms of its... Uh, in terms of it being quite difficult and, and being very easy to pick up and then um, uh, also the scoring system, it's not sort of like a, there's no score multiplier or anything like that, it's just hardcore, get as far as you can, improve your skill and then it's game over, start again. So I think people that like those kind of games might like this game as well, so that's why I've used these keywords. So a, a nice big description as well is important because I think um, what some of the app stores do is they, uh, for example, with Google Play Market, is a lot of the other um, a lot of the other websites. What they do is they drag the data down from from Google Play Market, the icons, the description, uh, and what they do is they link back to that. And they put with that, all that description on the website, it means that if there's certain text inside your description, and someone goes online searching for a game like you know, uh, the same, the impossible game or, or, you know, very difficult game or hard game or something like this, it's more likely that your app will appear if you have those those words in your description as well. So the, the search engine optimization is pretty important and it's one of the, it's one of the biggest things that I've found to affect downloads. Um, you know, uh, I did this on, on uh, when we were, when we were building the X series for iPhone, which which we're still doing now, we're always developing games for the X series. Um, and the iPhone App Store, uh, once we had started to include more keywords in the description that were related to other well-known games like uh, Gallagher, Arkanoid, uh, Pac-Man, and so on, the uh, the downloads sort of like improved by five times, six times, and that was basically just because people were finding who were looking for, say, Pac-Man or those other games that are really popular, those those words are more likely to be searched for, and therefore people are more likely to find our game as well. Um, and those those games are kind of related to ours in, in terms of the gameplay style and the feel and the old school sort of game and look of the game. So, you know, that's pretty important is pay attention to that uh, and have some kind of marketing plan in place as well. That's extremely important, extremely important. Uh, the ability to search and find games is, is incredibly important. Um, it's actually one of the reasons that we include such a big title as well. So this is the title, Temple Jump Run X. But then having, having this sort of like, kind of what would you call it, secondary title or subtitle, old arcade games uh, by Cobalt Play Games. Uh, is people who search for old arcade game, that's kind of the point of having that title in there is 
somebody will type in arcade game or old arcade game and then it's more likely that our game will appear in the search results. Um, you know, once, once, um, uh, once we do have a larger marketing budget in place at Cobalt Play, then we don't have to do that as much. But for now, as a small independent developer, that's, that's kind of necessary. So once you get down here, you just add in your, uh, uh, your application icons, uh, your screenshots. This is really straightforward stuff. The binary is basically uploading the APK file, which was built by Unity. And you just basically plug that in, click upload, and then you, you're ready to go. Uh, click review, and then that's submitted to the Amazon App Store. Uh, the Amazon App Store takes around, I think, seven days to get their reviews done. Um, and I think uh, I was only rejected once because of basically the app linked into the Google Play Market for a review. Um, but this is Amazon, so it's, I think it's, you know, it's kind of a, comp a, a competing market, so they don't want to do that. And the second thing is was that the, the, um, uh, the game originally, Chick's Revenge, wasn't built for larger size um, uh, devices that had a sort of larger screen resolution. So what was happening is the game was sort of, say, this big, was just kind of 480 wide on a camera, um, but it wasn't stretching to meet the new size of the, uh, of the screen. So for example, if a screen was, say, um, if this was 480, if this was 500, it wouldn't stretch the image, it would just show sort of the background of the camera, which just made it obvious that this was the background and it, it wasn't stretching uh, to meet the actual size of the device, which they rejected that. So, um, but that was recently fixed, so uh, that's no problem. But anyway, so this is the this is the Amazon app market, uh, Amazon app store. Uh, the other ones that I would recommend are uh, slidemy.org. Uh, this is pretty simple. Again, it's just a, a basic sign up process. Uh, you would hit click here, sort of developer or login or something like that. Fill in your credentials, and then you can go to upload an application. Um, and what that'll do is it'll just pretty much have the same um, the same process as what we just did on the uh, the Amazon App Store. So you just fill in the title, whether it's free or paid, uh, the keywords, description, screenshots, and so on. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. I don't really need to sort of walk through this. Um, I don't include a slide Emmy uh, lock in there. This lock system. Uh, slide lock. I don't know what that is exactly and I, since the games are free I don't mind if people actually you know take the game and then put it on someone else's portal that's no problem because there's no in-app purchase uh, because the games simply have advertisements in them so that's no problem. Uh, the other one a smaller app store that I do use is called Hanster um, and the address for the developer portal is apps.opera.com and I have a few applications that uploaded on here as well. The downloads are not as big as you can see here uh, that's pretty small actually, but it's it it's a fast upload. It takes five minutes, and all you do would go all you do is go on the uh, left hand side here and click Add Product, Screenshots, the APK file itself, uh, and then upload. So if you have any questions on this website as well, let me know, and then I can I can help you guys out for sure. Uh, the other ones that I would recommend are things like uh, there's GetJar.com, um, which for me, hasn't had as many downloads, and I think that's because it's more of a paid service. You can upload your application for free, but what they do is they say um, you can pay for players to download your game, which increases your downloads and you know eventually your revenue. Um, and it's a kind of a bidding system. Um, I've not done, I've not used it yet, uh, but if you just put your application on there, I've not found uh, our games to have a lot of downloads at all. Um, so I've not really bothered too much with this at the moment. I have around three or four applications on there. Uh, the other one that I would recommend if you can get it uploaded is Hand and Go. Now I originally did this with a Windows uh, mobile application around two years ago for Windows um, 6.5 and, and <laughs> that application was called Phone Fart Repeat when everyone was going crazy over fart applications. So I thought I'd try it. And it was actually my first my first attempt at self coding an application, and that was pretty simple to do. Um, but I've not managed to upload the uh, upload any of our Android applications onto here, just because of the the uh, when the form pops up, I just have an error and I can't seem to get it uploaded. Uh, but you go down if you wanted to give it a try, just go down to developers here, and then you'll sign up, and then you'll put in your information, uh, register here, and you can upload it with the screenshots and so on. Uh, the big one, of course, uh, that I will show you at some point is the uh, is the is the Google Play Market. Um, 
android.developer. It's actually developer.android.com, I think. Um, .android.com. Yeah, so uh, the big one that I would put on there is basically, uh, sorry, what I would say is this is the biggest Android market as far as I'm aware. Uh, if you, you need a Google uh, email first, uh, this one cost currently is $25 for the developer account um, for them to register and it's pretty fast. Uh, you have to put in some credit card details to pay that. Uh, if you want in-app purchases, you have to put your credit card details in as well. Um, but once you're on there, the great thing is about the Google Play market is that you can in fact uh, have applications live within uh, a few hours. It's, it's available. There's no submission process uh, where somebody checks it like they do at Apple and, and then they say yes or no. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, the good thing is that if you do use the Google Play market is that you can get applications into the market very quickly. Uh, the bad thing is that what happened with us is if, if uh, you submit an application, uh, if it breaks any of their rules uh, within the developer agreement, um, what they can do is a random check of, of all of the applications or games inside of their market. And if they find that yours breaks the rules, then they will tell you so. Um, what actually happened to ours is we had a bunch of games, 10 games from the X series on the Google Play market, um, and there seemed to be no problem. Uh, nobody was was uh, complaining about the the uh, uh, the data that was in there um, for the app description. But what they then later said was, uh, "Oh, you've added too many keywords in the description of the app, which is how they rank their applications and how people find it based on the description. There's no keyword." area it's just on the description um, but the previous ones before had no problem um, so that's the kind of you've got to be careful is it, it's not clear exactly when you're adding too many keywords or too little keywords um, because I'd use the same description on other games but nobody there was never any complaints about it so you know be careful about that um, because when it gets submitted to Apple somebody checks it and it's either yes or no which is great then you know once it's live you're not breaking any of their any of their guidelines um, but the Google Play market is great I mean it's fantastic the, you can get things uploaded fast um, the statistics tracking is really good as well so once we're back up and running on Google Play I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a tutorial on that one as well um, and make it a little bit more tutorial like so that you can understand what you you know what exactly you need to do so but anyway that's it for for this developer diary guys you know I hope you've enjoyed this this was um, uh, it should be available on the on the iPhone App Store and on the Amazon Market uh, within the next one week. Uh, so do a search for Temple uh, Temple Jump from X. Um, you know, check out the other X series games as well. If you if you just do a search for Temple Jump from X or Alpha Jetpack X or Temple Run Training or uh, Accelerate X on iPhone, you can find a link to all the other games there as well. Um, and also in my developer my developer. Uh, sort of section within the uh, iTunes store. So check it out, download them, and if you have any questions on how anything was built, just let me know. Drop some comments down below, uh, and we'll figure out a way to do a video for you guys and, and hopefully help uh, help you on your development aspirations. So, uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it there, and I will talk to you all soon. Okay, bye bye.